In this video, we'll talk about how to set up Stripe Checkout on your Paid Memberships Pro membership site. Stripe Checkout is a new option in our Stripe integration, where the payment section of the checkout experience happens on the Stripe website itself. Using Stripe Checkout lets you take advantage of additional payment methods allowed by Stripe. You also benefit from Stripe's fraud protection and faster repeat purchases for customers who choose to save their payment method. Stripe Checkout is a new option in our Stripe settings, but if you prefer, you can continue using the existing on-site checkout with Stripe without interruption. Keep in mind that the Stripe Checkout functionality in PM Pro is currently in beta while we test it on a variety of different setups. As a beta feature, you must opt in to use it. Before enabling PM Pro Stripe Checkout on a live website, we recommend thoroughly testing this functionality on a staging site to make sure that it works as intended on your setup. Ready to enable Stripe Checkout on your PM Pro site? First, you'll need to add this line of code to your wp-config PHP file. Once that's complete, go to the WordPress admin, navigate to Memberships, and select Settings. Next. Click Payment Gateway and SSL. If your site is not already connected to Stripe, go ahead and complete that process before continuing. You can do this either by clicking the Connect with Stripe button or by entering your API keys in the Legacy API settings. Once your site is connected to Stripe and you've added the line of code to your wp-config file, you should be able to see the Stripe Checkout Settings section on the Payment Gateway and SSL page. Next to Payment Flow, select Accept Payments on this site to show credit card fields on the Membership Checkout page, or select Accept Payments in Stripe to have your users pay at Stripe. Where it says Update Billing Flow, select Update Billing on this site to have users update their payment information on the default Membership Billing page or select Update Billing in the Stripe Customer Portal to redirect users to update their billing information directly in Stripe. Remember that you must first enable the Stripe Customer Portal in Stripe in order to use this feature. Where it says Collect Billing Address in Stripe Checkout, select Only When Necessary to only collect a billing address when required by Stripe or select Always to always require the user to enter their billing address. Next, select Do Not Calculate Tax to disable Stripe Tax, or if you plan to use Stripe Tax, choose either Membership Price Includes Tax to have Stripe calculate the tax inclusive of the membership price, or select Calculate Tax on top of Membership Price to have Stripe calculate the tax exclusive of the membership price. Using Stripe Checkout also allows you to use Stripe's automated tax collection. To do this, go to where it says Collect Tax ID Numbers and select Yes to allow users to enter a VAT number or another relevant tax ID when using Stripe Tax. Select No if you don't want to collect this information. If you are using multiple gateway options on your site, you may want to look into a third-party tax solution like Avatax. Remember, for Stripe Checkout to function correctly on your site, you'll need to make sure you have these webhook endpoints enabled in Stripe. You can find a list of webhooks, as well as information on how to set up webhooks in Stripe at paidmembershipspro.com forward slash Stripe. In our Stripe documentation, you can learn more about setting up your Stripe payment gateway, Stripe Checkout, subscription updates, webhooks, customizing your branding, and more.